Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dennis Jason. Welcome back to things that happened this week on week 9 of 2023. Um, first, I want to say that, you know, uh, this is the ninth week already out of 52, I believe. Uh, and yeah, um, it, it's been quite a journey so far. And, you know, we can kind of tell as well that um, we're entering March now, which means that we just passed the first two months of 2023. And yeah, we're almost close to 10th week, which is next week, basically. And then, you know, we're just basically uh, kind of 20% away of 2023 um, or into 2023. So yeah, um, time flies when you never expect it to happen, obviously. Uh, and yeah. Also, in meanwhile, you know, when everyone's life is going, there are things that happen during this week that I think it's, you know, just makes sense that I actually compile all of those just like any other episodes. And yeah, today, what about this one? Uh, this week, time period will be Friday to Thursday, just like any other thing. Um, the reason why is because I think it's because the first day of... 2023 i think it is actually a uh friday probably not i don't know uh wait i think the reason why i did friday to thursday is because um friday uh, yeah i think it's uh it's not the you know because of that i think uh it's because friday to thursday is because so that during friday i can actually make video about things that happen from friday to thursday and then uploading it to the weekend i think that's the reason why i do it friday to thursday and yeah this is february 24th to march 2nd 2023 uh again the literally the the past seven days uh okay let's start things that happen week 9 2023 first we have stardew valley 7th anniversary uh, this is concerned Ape or, you know, the, the developer of Stardew Valley. Um, today is the 7 year anniversary of Stardew's launch. Uh, thank you for supporting the game these past 7 years and give, giving me this special opportunity, Ape, Stardew Valley. In fact, I actually played the game. Uh, I actually made videos about that, the, the series uh, in the past, uh, like last year, I think. Um, the reason why I didn't continue that is because I didn't really like the layout of the village that I'm picking. I should have just picked the, the normal ones where the, uh, the farmland is actually just, you know, flat. Because the one that I picked is the one with, um, like, it's a very weird terrain, actually. It is like mountain area or hilly area where, you know, some sections are above you know like it's elevated up some parts are you know down also there's just like um you know the partition as well like random cliff you know it's a little bit too uncomfortable for me because i kind of like you know playing these kind of games i like the fact that i can make farmland and you know just to make farmland efficient i guess we already know you know, just like in real life as well, it is better if you have a flat land so that you can have uh, the most area, right? Um, so yeah, um, I just don't like the, you know, the, the layout. I just, you know, uh, that is actually one of the main reasons. Uh, the, the other reason is that um, I think it has something to do with recording size as well. Like when I record uh, games, uh, sometimes it can get to, you know, more than one gigabyte every uh, video, which is not, you know, the most efficient thing because uh, when I record things, I usually record for multiple videos that I can upload in the future. Uh, because, you know, well, if you can tell already, I uploaded video like, uh, I like a uh, realist video, like three videos every day. So, you know, that is a lot of videos, which means I need to record a lot of videos as well, which means that I cannot actually, you know, um, you know just record one time every day. So, yeah, uh, during that time, right? Also, what else? Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, I purchased the game like uh, two years ago, I believe. Or, yeah, I think it's two years ago in 2021, I believe I, I bought the game. 
uh, you know, because I'm curious, right? Uh, it was, you know, like I've seen people playing, but I never actually owned the game because it was, you know, um, you have to buy, right? But I guess I actually saved some money during the time and I actually bought the game. So yeah, I do still have, uh, in fact, there is actually an update as well, which I might actually have to take a look. Uh, because my plan for this channel is in the future, um, uh, I think I kind of want to live stream play Stardew Valley because, um, it is fun. Uh, it is a fun game to play on stream. It, it also, yeah, the, the third reason, I guess, because I don't think this game is suitable if you make video for YouTube. I don't think it's, you know, uh, it works like that. I feel like it's one of those games where it's better if you actually stream with people as well, uh, you know, so that you can discuss with others, and yeah, it's just a, a game that will take a lot of time, that's basically it, so yeah. Uh, also, it's about adventure and story as well, you know, if you make video about it, you will eventually have to record for a long time, and you have to edit that into, you know, a shorter uh, videos, right, so yeah. Uh, anyway, that has already been too long for that one. Uh, next, we have Aiden Ross Twitch permanent ban. Aiden Ross has been permanently banned on Twitch. Uh, this was actually a few days ago. Uh, I have no idea if he will be unbanned since then or if it is actual perma permanent, you know, perma perma ban, you know, like actual permanent ban. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I mean. He's like one of those controversial, you know, like a streamer. I feel like, I feel like he's good. He's okay, but, but when he's, but when he did, you know, but when he does stupid things, I feel like, you know, it's, it's kind of surprising. I feel like Aiden Ross can be, uh, you know, like um, an actual role model, but I guess not everyone's, you know, that way. I guess which is uh, fine. I guess I mean it's it's his life. It's his choice. So, yeah, also there's so many other streamers that are, you know, if you like to be, you know, as your role model, obviously, you know, it's not the only one streamer, right? There's like, I don't know, like thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of streamers out there that you can always pick for yourself. Uh, but yeah, um, it's, I don't think it's actually a problem for him because he left Twitch already anyway. He, he starts streaming on Kick, Kick.com. Uh, it's like, I don't know if it will be, you know, Mixer. Because, you know, Mixer was a little bit uh, something, right? In 2019 era, I believe, 2019, 2020, Mixer was something, um, you know, like, uh, it, it, it boomed. It, it was booming, right? But, you know, s since then it, it, dies, it died down and I don't know if people actually still stream there or not. Um, I don't know if Kick.com will be like that. Uh, it's different though because Kick.com is a streaming platform that is uh, created by or supported by Stake.com, which is you know Stake uh, or uh, it's the gambling website. So you know they always have the fun, right? But uh, you know funding. I mean not fun. Uh, yeah, funding. They have the funding and yeah, I don't think they will actually you know like. Uh, lose people as as long as the platform pays good amount of money towards the streamer i feel like you know uh the streamer will stay therefore uh you know people will stay there as well so yeah but we'll see we'll see uh maybe a few months from now we'll see like maybe at the end of 2023 we'll see if kick.com is still a thing or not but yeah, i guess it's only times that that can tell uh next we have kai chenat a uh, new record uh, which is, yeah, the new king of Twitch, which is Kai Senat. I think I already mentioned about him previously. He reached 200,000 subs, I believe. Uh, but now he just breaks, uh, he just broke a record, which is Ludwig. Ludwig was the, the, uh, the most subscribed Twitch channel, but you know, it's been broken by uh, Kai, and actually, he already surpassed 300,000. I have no idea um, if he will set new records every day or not, or he will stop at some point. Have no idea, but yeah, I mean, the amount of subscribers cannot reduce, right? It's it's a cum cumulative count, so yeah. Um, anyway, 
let's continue. Uh, there's that guy. Uh, if you don't know, then go check him out. Uh, Ludwig stolen car. Speaking of Ludwig, he uh, he he had his car stolen. Uh, his Japanese car is like imported car, which is kind of weird as well. Uh, not that the car is weird, but more like uh, it's weird for the person who stole the car. Um, it's like literally looks, you know, it looks like this. It's not that hard to find, I don't think. Like literally, there's only one car that looks like that, right? Uh, so yeah, I feel like if you try to stall or steal a car, this is not advice, by the way. I feel like, you know, um, uh, me personally, though, I will pick like the most common one so that it, it's difficult for people to find. So yeah, um, you know, even if you change the license plate and stuff, uh, the, the car's look is still there, right? So yeah, um, so it was stolen, but I think a few days ago, uh, later or like uh, at the point of view of me like two days ago I believe or a day ago actually last uh, yesterday he, he got it back um, I think slime and Yingling this person the Yingling um, they found they found the, the car actually with a person I have no idea if they called the cops for the person as well but yeah he he read it. it was a little bit uh, if you see the clips from the Twitter, it is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's a bit dangerous as well because, you know, you, it, it, it did seem like the driver actually had, uh, it, it kind of looks like they have weapon as well. Obviously, you don't want that because, you know, there's a chance that you will get hurt, right? So, yeah, um, I feel like it's better for the cops to, you know, be there as well, but I guess... I think they, uh, I think Ludwig has his own reasoning why, you know, like, uh, um, with the cops and stuff, I guess it's, you know, like, it, it will be, it will be longer time, right? By that time, it's probably a little bit too late, so yeah, but I guess it's all, it's a happy ending, the car's there, uh, I have no idea what happened to the, the, pe the person that actually took the car, um, did they report to the police, did they, you know, let go, I have no idea, uh, so yeah. Next, we have March upcoming movies. This is from Matt Ramos. Um, he is actually a YouTuber as well. He uh, reviews movies basically. Uh, and this is the list for March movie. We have Creed 3, which actually just um, released uh, like this week as well. Uh, Operation Fortune, I don't know what that is. 65, I don't know what that is. Scream 6, I know because I actually made um, that as a topic as well. I think it's in the early, um, in the early, um, things that happened this week, I think. It's probably week 2 or 1 or 3 even. Uh, so yeah. Next we have Shazam, 30 of the Gods, okay. Uh, John Wick 4, okay. John Wick, I don't really like John Wick, honestly. I know it's probably unpopular opinion. I feel like Keanu Reeves is a little bit overrated though, I don't know, um, and then there's Tetris, uh, which I think from the trailer that I have watched, it seems like a boring movie, I have no idea, um, the idea is about Tetris, the game, um, how they develop the game, um, you know, like it's like a documentary or history of Tetris, which, I don't know, it doesn't seem, you know, like, what's the story, right? Like, what is the story? Like, is there any feeling or something? I feel like it's gonna be boring, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, next, we have Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Amongst Thieves. This is interesting as well, because, oh, thieves, <laughs> not thieves. I guess it's a typo. Um, Dungeons & Dragons, like, previously, they, they got, like, some kind of a drama, right? Where they, um, you know, like, basically make, the game into you know like copyright or stuff which means that people who want to you know like make content out of it they have to gain permission or they have to pay you know some royalties to the company which is you know something that some something that people dislike in general and yeah we'll see if the movie performs well after that uh, you know drama uh, but we'll see okay I don't even know the continuity of that drama as well do people already forget uh, did something happen? I have no idea. Did they roll back the copyright thing? I have no idea. But yeah. Uh, next we have Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. This happened. 
I think this happened weekend, I believe. Yeah, I think it happened this weekend. Uh, like last weekend, I guess. Um, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Uh, yeah, uh, Tommy Fury won. <laughs> uh, Jake Paul lost. Um, it's fine though because both of them got a lot of money anyway because of the you know sponsor and stuff like that. Um, and then what else? Um, I think Logan Paul actually had an idea of challenging Tommy Fury just to avenge his brother. I have no idea um, if that's uh, if that will happen or not. I mean, if it does happen, it's great for him as well. It, it always is great for both, actually, because, again, it attracts lots of money, right? And they are all, you know, businessmen. Well, I guess the Paul brothers is actually, you know, businessmen. Then um, they will easily see this as an opportunity, I feel like. So, yeah. Uh, next, we have Creed 3, which... I just mentioned previously, um, Michael B. Jordan and also Jonathan Mayer, uh, uh, it's, they look very hot, I mean, not gonna lie, uh, you know, I'm a dude and they, their body's perfect, like, literally, um, it's very hot, <laughs> I haven't watched the movie just yet, I might watch sometime, maybe this weekend, probably, uh, but yeah, um, Want to know what the story is about? I watched Creed 2. Um, it is with the um, uh, what is it? Uh, Big Nasty, I believe. Uh, Florian Montano, I think. Um, yeah, as Draco. He actually came back uh, in this movie. Apparently, uh, Creed One. I don't know what that is about. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Uh, I guess that's that. Uh, next, anyway, uh, Hikaru 50th win. So this is from Chess. Hikaru Nakamura. He just won uh, the first player to win 50 title Tuesday. So every week there is this called title Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, obviously, there is this match where, you know, um, it's like mini competition. Uh, it's like Blitz, I believe. Um, and I guess he won 50 times. <laughs> uh, it was just insane, actually. So yeah, uh, Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, there you go. Uh, I, I like the fact that this week, you know, uh, this Tuesday, he will set the 51st. <laughs> and yeah, it's just gonna be maybe like give or take uh, two years probably, and then he will reach 100 uh, title Tuesday. So yeah, uh, best of luck for him. He's like one of my favorite chess players as well. Also, uh, chess content creators on YouTube as well. He is very educating, just like Gotham Chess. Uh, but yeah. Uh, ninth, we have The Mandalorian. It's a new series from Star Wars in Disney Disney Plus. Um, I hate to say this, but I also think that Mandalorian is not my thing as well. Star Wars stuff is not my thing, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know, things like, like I said, like Star Wars, uh, it's not my thing. Um, just like John Wick, really. Uh, it's not my thing, just because, you know, at this point, there's too much of them, too many movies, too many TV series. If you want to keep up, there's just too much that you have to watch. Uh, and I decided, you know what? No, I'm not gonna ping watch everything just to know the lore or the story, I guess. Uh, next, we have number 10, Elf, but not really. So this is interesting. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be parody or something, but the president of Mexico... He posted this picture um, that, you know, and then he said this caption over here. It's like, um, you know, like a, a, I don't know, like a elf, basically, uh, from their lore. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it has been debunked since then. Um, it's it's actually a picture that, that's been taken a few years ago. And um, I think it's something else. So, yeah, I know it, it kind of looks menacing, but... It's not that, actually, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just that. It's a little bit goofy. I don't know, though, why why a president uh, posted something like this. It is supposed to be, like, a parody. Is this supposed to be, like, um, commemoration day or something? I have no idea what's his intention, so, yeah. Uh, and the final one, uh, 11, we have TikTok new policy. There are actually two policies um, that's going around this week. This is the first, um, TikTok announced that they will limit screen time for users under 18 to just 60 minutes a day. 
um and why because um you know tiktok it's 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 like a rabbit hole um sometimes you can fall into the wrong hole like if you stay too long then yeah you will find uh, you know very disturbing contents uh, if it's just for you know laugh he he ha ha it's fine but then if you you know um, get too deep and you will find like um something you know racist something um you know like uh things that are out of our norm then yeah it's very disturbing so uh i guess they just uh put this uh, as 60 minutes not that it will be effective though i mean it it might work for you know f- quite a few uh percentage but overall i don't think this will work who knows but we'll see okay um Basically, you can only use uh, TikTok 60 minutes a day, which I think, in my opinion, it's actually a great in general for everyone because sometimes, you know, things like TikToks, Instagram Reels, Twitter, uh, and then YouTube Shorts as well. If you watch that, um, you know, you just want, oh, it's just short videos, and then you watch another one, oh, it's just short videos, another one, short videos, another one, another one, and you keep repeating that. And you don't realize that you already watch for hours. You you waste your time for doing that. And that is bad in general. And yeah, I think I'm also the one, one of the people that, um, you know, I will consider that as a victim, I guess. Uh, but not really because, you know, it's my decision to keep watching. But I don't know. I mean, it's there, right? So yeah. Um, I feel like it's something that needs to be, you know, like, People need to be aware that, you know, just because the video is short doesn't mean that it is, you know, uh, great because your brain will be, uh, you know, will have, you know, will want for more, which is, again, uh, cumulatively speaking, it's not going to be good overall. Oh, there's another one as well, a policy, which is about, I think they will ban or, yeah, they will ban uh, government um, accounts, I believe. Uh, in the U.S. at least, and yeah, uh, you know, some people actually thought that they actually banned the whole TikTok, which is not the case, and yeah, some people actually got triggered by that, and I think one of the TikTok account as well, you know, made a, you know, like a, what is it, like um, a word as well for how that is bad, but I guess they're just misunderstood, it's not the whole app that got banned, it's just that, you know, they, they block the governments from making, you know, uh, accounts on uh, TikTok because uh, as simple reason as, uh, you know, you don't want to leak your uh, country's privacy for other countries, which is uh, apparently happens to be your uh, enemy or quote unquote enemy, right? So, yeah, um, I guess they are a bit overreacting, but uh, anyway, there's that. And the final, final one we have update from the channel we actually reached 280 total subscribers uh close to 300 uh maybe we'll have 300 by next week uh, finger crossed we will need 20 so if you haven't so go help me check my stuff out subscribe uh i do post a lot of videos i guess every day uh which is you know a little bit <laughs> annoying i guess but i don't know you you can always skip that right like do you actually only have one subscription no right you also subscribe to other people right so yeah uh, i feel like it should be fine just help have a pro out um you know can we actually reach 20 in a week we'll see okay but anyway i think that'll be it for this one uh, i hope you guys enjoy it stay so healthy i will see you again next week in the next things that happened this week on week 10 it will be from march 3rd until uh march uh 9th i believe uh, friday to thursday but yeah But until then, see ya.